Okay, my Indonesia story is literally for like a TV movie. I single-handedly like took down a company without even trying by accident and then I just like pieced out because I got scared. Okay, so my boyfriend at the time got hired as an engineer for a company who was contracted out by the U.S. government to build a U.S. consulate in Indonesia. I was sick of nursing and I wanted to live in Indonesia too, so I took a basically like an office manager job that his company was also hiring for. Never have I ever worked in an office, which explains a lot. So here's some fun pictures when we first arrived. Everything was fun and great. We traveled a lot, so here you go. This is like fun, innocent Julie on our first trip to Mount Bromo. I didn't know what was about to happen in my life and I was about to destroy this company, uh, but it was really great while it lasted. Here's us scuba diving. Look how cute. He's still my friend. We're great. So then around six months, I got put in charge of immigration stuff, making sure that all of our employees, like 100 people, were over there legally to work. Slowly but surely, I started running into a lot of scary issues with the Indonesian government. They were detaining people. They were threatening to detain us. They were threatening to detain me because they were saying we weren't giving them enough money and making them work here legally. They were trying to deport people. It was really scary. They told me, the company told me that the Indonesian government was just doing that and saying that because they were trying to get more money from us because they knew that, they, that we were an American company with money. I didn't know any better. So the only thing I did was hire an Indonesian local to help me navigate this whole thing. Come to find out, we were doing it illegally. We were doing it the wrong way and we needed to do it the right way. But that was going to cost thousands upon thousands upon thousands, maybe $50,000 or more. But I thought our company was just innocently not knowing they were doing it wrong because they had been doing this for like a year before I got there. So I wrote this big long email to my boss being like, good news, I figured out the problem. We've been doing it wrong this whole entire time. Everyone's over here illegally, but I know how to fix it. But here's the bad news. It's going to be very expensive, very expensive. Send the email off, all proud. I get an email back from my boss in like one millisecond that says, Julie, never reply all to this email. Again, I've never worked in an office before. I didn't even know what she meant by reply all. I emailed my whole company and the company that's contracting us, which is the U.S. government. Second email comes in from the boss at the U.S. government company. Carol, my boss's name, take care of this immediately. Now I just force my company's hand to actually do this correctly and spend all of the money they need to spend to do it correctly which is the right thing to do, but they were pissed and I was scared. I left like a week later. I was like, I can't take this. Here's me at the end, like dying inside. 